in the previous video we created the strip hopefully you've seen that already and now we're going to create some form punches we're going to start with a 3d form punch for this area right here picking the surfaces And quick tip if you're a LogoPress user that the, um, well, again, I, I shouldn't get too technical. I won't go into it. So here, without having a, a die shoe, with just having the strip, we have to enter the height from the die face to how tall we want the form punch. So we're entering 60 thousands with our pierce punches. They're two inches long or two and a half inches long, I should say. So 2440. And convert, again, a bunch of entities. That's on the sketch toolbar. If you don't have it on a mouse shortcut. And let's give this some, actually, I probably wouldn't need to do this even put these relations on, but I will anyway. Exit the sketch, and it's now doing, did a surface offset, it did a ruled surface down there, it uh, is creating an extrude for the punch body, it's extruding it past the surfaces, and then it's cutting it off with the surfaces. And it's doing it all pretty fast. And again, lots of options in this form punch command. Very, very flexible. So here's the form punch that got created, and now we'll just clean it up, if you will, because of its odd shape with SolidWorks. Let's start by trying to delete these. Oh, that... oh maybe it was, yeah, it was because I had the back surface selected as well. That's what happened. I had three surfaces selected. This will work too. And I've, I've obviously done this part before. That's what allows that's what allows us to show you the video fluently. It'll do a rotated rectangle here. Right click to select the midpoint and click this and make a midpoint relation. And to mention that, and then we'll do a cut extrude. Again, mouse shortcut so you didn't see me hit an icon. And now we'll do a base extrude sharing the same sketch. And now, so you don't get confused, I won't use my mouse shortcut. I'll show you that I'm doing a base extrude. And we'll just grab the handle, pull it down to an inch and a quarter. And throw a couple fillets on. And in less than four minutes, we've pretty much got ourselves a form punch. That worked out fine. And let's go back to the assembly. Yes, we want to save it, of course. And there's our form punch. And let's do a form punch on the back side here as well. And this one will change automatically. See, it was set to 3D and automatically changed to 2D based on what we selected. We'll make it a radius coining punch. And again, give it a length. If this was in a die shoe, we'd be picking the length, basically. We'd be picking the base of where we want it to be. And again, awesome how that just zooms you normal to and zooms you right into where you need to be. Saves a lot of time. 
you've heard me say it before, you'll hear it again, hopefully, that LogoPress has been doing this for 20 years, thigh design software. One of the shareholders of LogoPress is in fact the owner of a die design firm with six or seven designers that shares the same building with LogoPress. So you'd hope they'd be pretty good at it. There's our form punch. And we can also edit the profile sketch over here. Puts into the sketch, zooms us normal too because that's what we need to be to edit it. And here we've got various dimensions on here. These, uh, this one gives it squeeze, if you will. I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't give this 3,000 squeeze on a one millimeter thick part, which is showing you what we're capable of. The angle can be changed as well if you wanted a 15 degree runoff angle or something. And there's a preview, and that finishes it. And here I'm going to show you some options. These are the third-party options. Let me pull this into the window for LogoPress. I want to show you the punch mismatches that we did in a previous video to give you an idea. And the options for the form punches that we did just did the 2D form punch, 2D radius coining form punch. And actually, this uses some of these same numbers for the regular 2D punch as well. Let's grab these two, or that one, I should say, and um, do a section view through it. One of the beautiful things about working with solids and not surfaces or graphical surfaces or whatever Section views in 3D are awesome. Let's do a section view through that one. And again, we're both coining that and squeezing the material as well. And let's isolate those punches. You guys all know about this. That's a cool command in SOLIDWORKS. Something I don't use enough because it came around after I stopped designing full-time. Thanks a lot. That's form punches.